Hello everyone and welcome back to my latest video. Today is a snooker training video. So I haven't done one of these for quite some time, but hopefully you'll find it useful. Um, as you know, I do have some uh, downloadable uh, drills, which some of you guys can use. And this is gonna give you an idea as to how I set up to play uh, when I want to practice. Sometimes it's just to knock the balls around. Um, I quite often do the behind the pack 147 attempt that semi-pro likes to do. Uh, with side spin and left which gets the white back into the balls just opens them up lets you make a few breaks I highly recommend that you do that um, can I also make a pledge before we start that everyone watches as much this video as you can I really want to get this channel monetized um, I'm not going to make a lot it'll be maybe ten dollars a month if I'm lucky but it just makes it feel a bit worthwhile I'm not far off so your support will be much appreciated in getting closer to that 4,000 watch hours I think I'm on about 2,800 for the for the year, but I didn't do a lot last year, so every video that I put out is helping out those stats. So what you want to do, we'll just go back, click on quick play, you want trick shot, setup shot. Now I think that's usually to the left, as you can see, right back, and then hard times snooker, just because I like the lighting. Uh, custom table here, now I actually find that going to tournament table, I think it's tournament table tight. All oh, right, tournament table normal, I think. Is, is the setup. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it doesn't matter. You can make it tight if you want. You can make it very tight if you want, if you really want to test yourself. Um, I would recommend that you do that. Now you'll get onto here. Now what you then do is press escape, load save game. Now these are different drills that I've got. We're gonna start with the lineup first. This is the one that I created. You must remember to click practice mode. That means that it records it like a, sorry, it plays the frame like a normal frame and it doesn't um, just pot all the balls. If you don't click that, you'll just pot the black and it won't come back and it won't record the break. So we click load. Now this is the uh, the person who downloaded has this set up with their bot, with their cue. The setup I like is to zoom out, hold down the, key, the C key, and I like to move across a little bit. I don't know why, I just like to move across. And then you press T to get rid of the training lines. And then you are good to go. And you, you can move the white around if you want. Um, I tend to start on this red here. Just roll it in. And then off, off we go. Let's have some fun with this. Uh, see how we get on. As you can see, it records it like a break. My sort of weakness, if there is one, is um, potting balls off the black spot. It's something in real life that I'm not really particularly good at um, in real life. But good news is I have got some... I have got some contact lenses uh, that I'm going to start to try and use and start to practice again. Um, I've no idea if I'm ever going to do any proper real life videos. I'm not somebody who's ever going to sort of rig up a camera in a club and generate that sort of interest. It's it's really not me. Um, and I'm also still like, my weight's disgusting and I just need to sort it out, but I find it very, very difficult. So. Hopefully down the line, guys, that's one of my longer term goals. Um, we'll see how things go and I'll keep you informed, but you know, let's just, we're gonna crack on with the with the content on this channel. Now, as you can see, if, if you're a good player, this shouldn't be too hard for you. So you really wanna be trying, like don't necessarily go for the 147. I think a lot of you sort of mentioned that you don't sort of hit a lot of like big breaks. Now with, with this sort of, drill um you can kind of get used to sort of being in amongst the balls if you like and having that that, that number there now i don't really bat an eyelid because i know that i you know without being arrogant i'm going to knock in other big breaks so i don't like i would say that you don't i would recommend that you don't always go for a 147 you know, just like I say, just enjoy clearing the balls. Just clear the balls. If you make a mistake, you can press the the U button and it'll allow you to play your shot again. I would recommend that you do that. Not so, again, just get used to that kind of, you know, making the breaks. Get used to putting the, the, the nice breaks together. Even if you undo it just gets you used to sort of popping balls when you're up to like 98 100 or, or, or whatever so there you see i've taken a pink quite happy to do that because to me snooker is about the fun of just making breaks popping balls 
working your way through them i think is is really nice so we'll carry on with this one um and you will get practice with sort of all the shots that you want so here you can sort of screw back you can roll through me personally i always think just rolling through works now i am playing on normal pockets which do feel quite big um sometimes i play with very tight pockets just because it really forces you to sort of feel that angle um you get away with a few here like sometimes i'll and especially if you're playing um in real life you'll find that some shots on a vp4 table go in and you get used to those as you aim and then when you're playing on a real table like i've had loads of shots when i'm playing my friend and i i go to play them and i think yep yeah, that's it and I'm, and I'm on my way and i think it just suddenly misses by miles and i think oh my god what happened and it's just because I've I've done sort of a virtual pool aim rather than a a real aim. Now that's not the best shot I've ever played in my life. So here, I like to avoid if I can hitting other balls and also potting um, ball colours if I can get away with it. But you can't always do that. Um, so we're we're close to a. To a century and now making sort of hard work of things be nice if i could get it and even though it doesn't sort of mean anything getting that century is always a a, a nice feeling particularly when i'm recording for for a video don't go enough Now, for you good players among you on normal pockets, I'm going to set you the challenge that I would expect that you clear up quite a lot of the time. Not every time, but, you know, it it should be well within your skill set. That's not a very good shot because I left myself like a Cliff Thorburn yellow. You hear the dog snoring away. She's She's loving the video. That was a nicely played shot. Whoops, I hit that one a bit hard. Not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> Just a flick, a little flick. Nice recovery. There we go, a nice 139 clearance. Don't worry about the first of five frames, that's not important. So next up, as you can see, it goes back to the original view. So unfortunately, if you you download that view, some of you might think that that's actually the view I use. It's not, um, but you, you know the view I use from, my, from other videos. So what you have to do then is you've got a quick match, it takes you back to there, back at the trick shot, escape, load, the next one that I want to show you is the Y drill. Now, I might not do the full, uh, we've had a nice break there, we're on nine minutes, so I'll just show you what this looks like. Again, you press T, I zoom out, I go to the right, or left, I can't remember, left or right, up, up a bit, yeah. Um, so this is a Y drill, as you can see, looks like a Y. The, the drill is designed that the pink will go into all of the pockets as you can see and also there and there um i don't have a, a recommended kind of you know route round try not to knock into the reds if you can because that just some people will say that you've, you've got to kind of restart if you hit a red i'm not you know it's entirely up to you I find with this um, drill, you can use it one or two ways. You can use it to kind of get used to playing pinks into the middle. 
or you can use it as a way of sort of playing blacks. And the, the design is, I think, that you play uh, pinks into the corners as well and use these balls to kind of drill that. Um, but like I say, entirely up to you how you do it. It's just good practice to, to to knock some balls in. As you can see, you know, you get used to you get used to just knocking those balls in and around the black, which is invaluable when you're playing in frames. It's not a pressure situation when you're playing somebody, but if you can just get used to making sort of uh, like I've done here, just a quick quick forty break. Now here, the reason I put that red above the blue, if we can just kind of get into this area here just about hitting that red would be nice there you go um the way that pros would use this and i mean in real life is they would try and play on on, on the pink like so um but they wouldn't make a mess of it like that probably and then like, oh god <laughs> so i've hit it into the uh hit it the the black there which is clearly horrible and i've barely got a shot available now so we might try the shot. I'm probably gonna miss and do a miss. Oh dear, that might might drop. Oh dear. Um so clearly now we're starting to be a bit messy. So what I would try and do normally is try and pot the ball, go round the edges, try and miss everything else and pot the pot the the balls that are kind of you know, messy. Um Can I get on the black here? Maybe try. Maybe try just to if I can, if I'm not, then I'll take the blue. No, nope, I'll have to take the blue. I'm gonna play a two-way shot here so I can just stop and be on the pink if I miss the back. Well, I've made a right mess of it, so I'll be now on the green. So this is a <laughs> proven a bit of a disaster compared to how I said it usually works. Now, goodness knows what's going on here. I think I might have to, you know, admit defeat on this one. Because it is going up. The dog's walking up and she's now licking me on. Oh, she's going back to sleep. That's good. Uh, as you can see, our little noises. So, as you can see, we're, we're, we're still going. This is where this guy comes in useful. You get one sort of insurance ball. Now here we can take the blue and come out for a couple of those reds. And then ideally you want to get, you know, back on the back on the black. Pardon you dog, just burped at me. Oh. Really missed that one. Now I was trying to be on the pink, but actually the blue is easier, so you've got to be flexible. So we get another century. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> I'm terrible at that shot. Always overhit that, that shot. Always do. Well, this could go anywhere. I might get lucky. It's, oh my god, it's gonna go any worse. Oh dear, well, I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like that's the. This feels like it's easier for me. Oh, I did pot it. 
Um, haven't really left myself anything, so we'll try and get in the middle. Nearly got two clearances, eh? Oh, it wasn't a bad effort. Oh, if I'd hit that harder. Um, so yeah, two two nice breaks there. And the final drill, oh, there you go. That's a, quite a stark version of the old view, isn't it? We'll just knock it in, because we can. Need a few snookers. Um, and then we go back to uh, quit game. You can't load game from there, which is irritating. Then you start a new one, load. And the last drill I want to show you is the B drill. Remember to click practice mode. So then we T, we'll zoom out, we create our C. So this one is a B drill, as you can see, the letter, letter B there. And this is a another popular um, drill where you're in and around the black and it incorporates, even though I've made a really bad job of the first shot, it incorporates some, some tough shots. Um, particularly this one is hard to get on and I've already hit two reds so for some people that will be a restart for me I always like just you know tackling the, the break if I can um, just keeping going if you play on tight pockets I don't think I would have got the two good breaks that I've that I've had um, but this is just a really nice way of getting like I say getting practice on getting the good breaks and if you mess up you just start again you don't get yourself stressed out, Semi. And again, you have got the the pink in the middle, but you do the reason I've put the reds here and here is because they actually block the pink in the bottom bag. So you've got to get rid of those first if you want to be able to pop the. The pink into the middle or into the sides you've got to get rid of those so probably worth doing that now really and that way that it opens up those options for you Oof. <laughs> that wouldn't have got in on tight pockets going after that awkward one but it doesn't actually go so that was a really bad shot there um, so I'm going to have to take this one Now I can roll through here and get the awkward reds. You've always got to be planning. How do you get rid of your awkward balls? And this is why I like sometimes just leaving the the awkward balls in because I can't actually play it this time. Hmm. I'll take this one. No, I won't. I'll take the one I'm going for, but I'll try and try and stab it. And there we go. Missed. So what I would like to do here, just what I like to do is obviously it goes back to your original aim. I think it does anyway. Yeah, so when you undo, just have a look, and I realise that's fine with a bit more bottom spin. So that's just how how short the the margins are. I just had it there, which I think is a miss. No, no, that's fine. You know, and just I didn't have enough side spin on. That might have been where I was. Let's try it again. Yeah. So just it's amazing how accurate VP four is. Just a tiny tip movement there and down a bit, tiny movement to the left. And it's perfect but you've got to get those right you know 
so there you go so i'll leave it there guys it's about 20 minute videos so i hope you enjoyed it and uh if you want those drills let me know um and i will be happy to send them to you so thanks for listening uh, i'm watching obviously and i hope you enjoyed the breaks and i'll see you next time